Hey y'all, welcome back to Homemaking Queen where I share with you tons of homemaking and cleaning motivation. If you are new here, my name is Jessie. Today's video is a mobile home whole house clean with me. I am going to be getting it all done room by room, cleaning all of the messes in my home, getting my home all nice and clean for the rest of the week. If you've got cleaning to do, I'm gonna be the friend that's gonna be right with you, helping you, motivate you to get all of those chores done around your house so get up clean with me and if you're ready let's get to it so here with me y'all I'm all about multitasking when it comes to getting all of my chores done all of my cleaning done so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and put on a load of laundry always like to wash laundry put it on first thing as I'm cleaning getting things done around my house I'll just keep putting them in the washer I mean in the dryer and start another load depending on how much laundry I have to do for the day so that is a good tip for you that way you're not sitting there cleaning the whole time and then after you're done cleaning you still have laundry to do this is just a way that makes things a lot easier for me so as you can see I'm in my bedroom I am starting out in here by making my bed always good to make your bed right when you wake up that is something that I try to do but let's be real just because I like to do something every day it doesn't get done every day so today as you can see I'm making my bed now and I am gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the room I cannot clean my room unless my bed is made so that's like the first thing that I like to get done now I'm just gonna be cleaning all the areas in my bedroom making sure everything is all nice and clean and tidy as well before I move on into my bathroom I clean up a little bit in there and then just room by room tackling all of the messes in my mobile home. So whenever I'm cleaning my room, I usually just tend to make my bed, make sure there's nothing laying on the floor, you know, just clean my room until it's clean. Now, I don't usually wipe down my nightstands, clean the mirrors every single time I clean my bedroom. So those are just spots that are like often forgotten. So it's really nice for me to go ahead and take the time today to wipe everything down, make sure everything's dusted and is nice and clean as well. on the flip side maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile when you know yourself well somewhere down the sweet line when i do things for me because i don't want to be be a therapy i want to be free so ooh, gotta go and grab a spoon now ooh, make a life for myself
So I know the bedroom can kind of be forgotten about and you try to focus on your main living areas, but it is always nice to have a clean bedroom. It's such a great feeling to get in here and get it all cleaned up and smelling wonderful. I am going to grab my Febreze and spray it around the room as well and getting it smell oh, so good. So moving on into my bathroom, I am just going to be tidying up a little bit in here. I don't have a whole lot of cleaning to do in my bathroom, but I'm gonna go ahead and do what I have to do in here to get my bathroom all cleaned as well. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know na na now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible. So I will be starting some makeovers in this bathroom as well, y'all. I have a lot of things that I want to do in here. So we are in the process of finding out whether we are going to be replacing the tub, fixing the tub, painting the tub. So I will be working on that. Painting it, if we do it, decide to keep it and making it look all nice and pretty because that yellow has got to go, y'all. Um, and my countertops, my sink, my faucet's going to get done. I'm going to be doing something different to the mirror. And of course, painting the bathroom as well. And the closet entry is going to be different as well. So I'm going to be doing a lot in there. Painting, of course, getting things um, to look the way that I want to match the new theme of my home. But I just have not figured out exactly what we're doing, what colors I want to put whether I'm going to be getting a new countertop, whether I am going to be keeping it. If so, how am I going to just a lot that I'm thinking of y'all. I don't want to just jump into it and just, you know, blindly just start doing stuff. So I'm trying to really think it through before I start on it because I do not want to go back and change things. Like I've told y'all before, yes, I've been changing things back and forth, but I finally just, you know, I guess found exactly what I've wanted in my home. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm not going to hear you know, in months from now, decide to change my whole house or paint my whole house again, because I'm tired of it. This is what I'm going to be sticking with. And I, you know, I'm so excited. But anyways, y'all, I'm in the living room now, tidying up in here. And then I'm going to be sharing with you a, a new mop that I got that I absolutely love. It is actually the best mop I have ever owned. So I'm so excited to start the makeover on that mirror that I found for that wall. I'm actually going to be doing the makeover either today or tomorrow on that mirror. Um, probably not today. I don't know. I'm just so eager to start on it, y'all. I have a look in my mind that I want to do. And if it doesn't turn out, I'm going to change it, of course. But I'm going to give it a try and see how I like it. If I don't like it, guess what? I can always change it right back and, you know, make it white or, you know, make it a little bit different. But for right now, I'm thinking I want to go ahead and just see what I can do to it to make it the, the look that I'm wanting. I'm thinking it's going to look really cute, but we shall see. But anyways, y'all, the wall makeover is going to... Um, I'm going to be working on it this weekend. I am so, so excited. So... 
y'all will probably get to see this video by Tuesday and I am so excited for y'all to get to see it and um, for me to be done with all of the makeovers in my living room yay to that y'all because it has been a long time coming I've done so much in this living room. I can finally say I'm done besides the flooring. And speaking of flooring, y'all, we um, actually have been looking up some flooring and coming up with ideas of exactly, we know exactly what we're going to use now. So I was getting ready to mop and I remembered that I was sent this mop to try out and review for y'all. You hear? My girls are playing in the background. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and open this up. This is a joy mop. And I will have all of the information for you down in the description box in case you want to purchase one of your own. Um, I'm excited. I follow someone that cleans for a living on TikTok and she prefers these flat mops because you can change out the pads and you are able to get, um, you know, have different ones for different rooms and I, you can also she likes to spray and then use these types of mops but this one comes with a container where you can wring it out and, and it has like a dirty water slot a cold water slot so i mean i mean cold water clean water but it says joy mop it has this cute little handle two of them all right so this is the handle i'm assuming Okay, so it has a wash pot, a wash pot, and a dry part. I'm trying to find directions, y'all. I don't see no directions. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, it comes right out. I also have two more pads, which is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Let me put the handles together. Are we gonna put this mop together, baby? Are y'all gonna help mommy put this mop together? Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness, girls. Now I got a new mop, huh? What? Y'all hear something out there? All right, y'all. Okay, I guess this just goes together and screws in like so. Okay, I think I'm getting it now without the directions. I guess the directions are on the, the box. So we are doing this together, y'all. Put this on. Did I put it on long? Okay, I guess I did it wrong. Okay, I did do it wrong, y'all. It has this little hole here, and I need that to attach it to the head. We'll get it, we'll get it. <laughs> Girls, come to mommy. What are y'all doing? Y'all can't just leave me. It is their play time, so they are rolling around. All right, I got this, y'all. And I'm sure if this is too tall for you, you can just take one of these out and screw that part to that. I'm going to use it as is, even though I'm short, and if I feel like it's too tall for me, I can do that. All right, let me read this box really quick. So, pretty much it says, 
um, use tips. Must wet the mop before inserting into the bucket, otherwise the dry mop head will be hard to insert or move, okay? If pad comes off when insert, please see above instructions and check if the pad is correctly inserted into the head, okay? To avoid pad wearing out and affecting usability, recommend replacing refills every one to two months up to use frequently. Okay, so I have three pads. I can use them every one to two months, switch them out, and it's showing you right here how you can fix your pad if your pad's falling off. So, okay, even though um, I don't have the instructions, it's telling me some information on the box. Self-cleaning, insert the mop into the side. Move up and down several times to wet or rinse the mop. Self-wringing, insert the mop into the dry side. Move up and down several times until desired dryness is achieved. That is amazing. So it is a two-chamber bucket, 360 rotation mop head, three washable microfiber pads, and no splashing. I'm excited. Let's go give this baby a try. I'm going to go ahead and put some cleaning solution in it, and then we will get ready to use it. All right, y'all. I just want to say really quick, human error. <laughs> there were instructions in this the whole time, but I was able to figure out how to put it together and everything without it. But just in case, you know, you're wondering, it does come with instructions. I just didn't see it. So it does have a MAC sticker here. I filled it up with hot water, more like warm instead of hot, hot. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in here. This is, I love this stuff. It smells amazing. And I got it from Dollar Tree. Not a whole lot, but I'm gonna go put some of that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. So, this back in here. So it says this side up, so I'm going to move it this way. It says wet this first, so let me wet this first. So I just took it to my sun sink and wetted it. Now I'm going to, oh, I put it in wrong. This is how it goes. And this is going to get the solution on it. Okay. And now I'm just going to. Okay, it's just hard to put for a reason because it's got to drain all the water out. And this is going to make sure I don't get too much moisture on the mop. So y'all, I really do love this mop so much. It works so good for me. I think, you know, everybody likes a certain type of mop and it takes a few to go through to figure out which one you like and works best for you. I have had so many mops. I've had the O Cedar Spin Mop and it run my floors because even though it has that pedal for you to drain it as much as you want, you can still lift it up and touch the bottom of that mop and it is still soaking wet and holding so much water. Um, I've had the O-Cedar spray mop and it was okay. I've had other spin mops and um, I've had the ring mops. This one to me just works so good. I love that you're able to, um, you know, wring it out as well and it actually does get the water out and you're not just stuck there with a wet mop. I love that. And it's just, it's not heavy. It's just easy to use. I love it, y'all. I really, really do love it. I'm not just trying to hype this up. I seriously like this mop so much that if anything were to happen to it, I will go and purchase another one. How did you stop living me? How is that even possible? Possible. How could we let love go? How could we?
So yes, y'all, it is a tight fit right there, but it's like that for a reason. The only person that sits back there is my son. He likes to sit on the bench and um, really he needs to have it that close to be able to eat comfortably. So I try to leave it in that spot and not move my table. So that's why I didn't just pull the table out to fit back there because y'all, I'm a big girl. My son is te teeny tiny. So just letting you know, that is the reason why it is that, that way because my son's the only one that likes to sit back there. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to load the dishwasher, get my dishes turned on and finish cleaning up my kitchen. I 
All right, y'all, taking a break from the cleaning so I can go ahead and get dinner on. Tonight's dinner is super easy. So I have a bag of these um, a vegetable, has like sweet potatoes in it, um, carrots, potatoes, and broccoli, and cauliflower. And I have never tried it before. This is my first time. Whenever I was doing my Walmart pickup, I typed in fruits and vegetables, and that was one that popped up. I had never tried them before. This corn, y'all, I have never tried before either. It is the fire roasted, and that just sounds amazing. So I decided to go ahead and grab that as well. Whenever I bought them, I did not plan to put them all together at all. This broccoli I've had in the freezer for ages that I needed to go ahead and get used so I'm putting that in there as well this as you can see I have been busy all day cleaning so the last thing I want to do is slave over the stove so that is why I'm going to just pre uh, prepare this easy meal today for us so I will have a dish full of veggies and then a dish of fish so I'm gonna go ahead and do this like I said I've never tried this before but why not I, I love all my veggies and I feel like this would be really good into the oven that goes i'm not going to season it because i want um to see how it's going to taste we can always add salt and paper to, uh, salt and pepper to our plates now for the fish y'all if you like fish you like baked fish this is a recipe you must try you may really really like it so about i don't know 10 years ago or so um we were about to cook dinner my husband it's like you know what i think we need to try fish a different way. Let's see if we can come up with something different. I'm like, okay. So he went on the interweb and he found the recipe to this. So we tried it, we've been hooked ever since. Pretty much, you get your mayonnaise, add in some dill weed, onion powder, garlic powder. I put in some paprika as well, and some lemon juice, salt and pepper. Now, keep your eye on the lemon juice use a little bit at a time you don't want it to be runny you just want to give a little bit of the lemon flavor you can also use a lemon pepper if you like and mix it all up really really good and this is going to be what's going right over your fish so as you can see i have those two um, pans over there and i have the fish all cleaned and ready to um use and i'm going to mix this up and pour this right over the um, fish. That's how easy it is. After I do that, I'm going to top it with a little bit of cheese, put it in the oven, let it bake. Once the cheese is pretty much golden brown, the fish is done. If you know, fish does not take a whole lot of time to cook. And y'all, this was so delicious. Usually whenever I'm cooking dinner, I like to, or any meal, I like to have three different things on my plate. I like to have the meat, the veggie, and something else, or just three different things. And I was just like, well, there's only two things. Maybe it won't be as good. But y'all, it was so delicious. I wasn't missing anything. So super duper easy. And maybe this is something that you would try and you would love to. If you do try it, please let me know how you like it. Because like I said, it's been years ago and we still do it to this day. I know it sounds weird to have mayonnaise on your fish and baking it, but trust me y'all, it is delicious. <laughs>
If you like fish, y'all, try this. This was so, so delicious. Now that I've gotten my belly full, it is time to tackle a couple loads of laundry that I've been washing today. Go ahead and get them folded. If there's anything that needs to get hung, hang them up, get them put away, and just keep pushing through trying to get all of this laundry done yes i did just smell that towel because y'all it smells amazing why not <laughs> i just love folding laundry and it smells so good that's just like the reward after washing all of those clothes right but anyways um hopefully if you've got laundry sitting in that basket that you have you know been dreading to get put away go ahead and get that basket bring it out and you know, we can fold that this load together and get it over with because trust me, laundry is one of my least favorite things to do, but it has to get done. So let's go ahead and finish this laundry so I can be done with all of this cleaning for the day. Bye. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side now. Just hold on a bit more, cause I know you only see the rain, not the rainbow. Deep down, I know you're strong. Give them hell, baby, prove them wrong. Just hold on a bit more, cause I know you only see the rain, not the rainbow. I know you'll get up again. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night 